When a benzylic alcohol is treated with a powerful halide acid, an SN1 reaction occurs via a benzylic carbocation that is resonance stabilized. If the benzylic carbocation happens to be prochiral, then a racemic mixture of benzylic halides results. The pathway involves a fast proton transfer to the alcohol to set up a good leaving group, which then breaks away in the rate determining step. The carbocation formed is stabilized by extensive delocalization across the molecule. Even though several of the carbons in the system are electrophilic, the bromide nucleophile only attaches to the benzylic carbon in order to reform the stable benzene ring. Since this planar carbocation is prochiral, attack from either face results in two enantiomeric products. Since a powerful acid is used here, the first step will be a rapid proton transfer from HBr to the alcohol oxygen in order to set up a good leaving group. The leaving group is able to break off in the rate determining step to form a planar benzylic carbocation, which is formed in the presence of bromide anion, the conjugate base from the proton transfer step. The easy formation of the benzylic carbocation is due to its ability to delocalize the electron deficiency over an array of atoms in the aromatic ring. And although there are several electrophilic sites available in the benzylic carbocation, the major products come about only from attack at the benzylic position since that allows for retention of the stable aromatic 6 pi system. The planar nature of the cation allows for a nucleophilic attack from either face, thereby resulting in a racemic mixture of benzylic halides. To summarize, benzylic alcohols react with strong halide acids to give benzylic halides through a resonance stabilized carbocation. If the carbocation happens to be prochiral, a racemic mixture of benzylic halides is formed.